Hi everybody, my name is Will, and welcome to a return to the TMI podcast. I'm joined by my beautiful, lovely, and talented co-host, Cora. Cora, how are you been? We've been gone for a year. I know. I'm actually, I'm really happy to be back. Where are we? Um, what do you mean? You said we're back. Where are we? Oh, we're back on. We're back on YouTube. We're back on actually gonna be content. Uh, we're gonna be start doing it probably every Wednesday. Uh, you know, that's what our schedule is gonna be set for. You know, it's more or less up to Cora. She can record because you know she's very busy person. You know, not you know like me busy. You know, because I clearly can never be as busy as her running an entire YouTube channel and making videos every single day. No, couldn't possibly be as busy as her. You know, all I do is also go to work too. Anyway, Cora, how have you been for this entire year? Not to throw any shade, which is not what I did. No shade, just gas. No, oh yeah, I floored it. And I was like, mm, you know. Don't laugh. Oh. Sorry, I, uh, it's been all, I've been all right. And yes, I have been very busy. I don't know how to take a day off. Even on my days off, I fill it with nautical nonsense that I don't need. Yeah, she goes swimming. So... Yeah, no, it's it's very frustrating. But I'm alive. Not everybody gets to say that, so I'm very, very yeah, thankful. Dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and tell us about what's been going on uh, for you for the last year. Let's go ahead and catch up on things like that. I obviously know, but, like, you know, what's what the people know? What's been going on with us, so... at least for the last year? I'm still, I'm still manager somehow, some way. And she loves the job um, very much. Anybody who works for her, I, she absolutely loves it. They're not going to say this, by the way. Talk as much shit as you want. I don't care. Uh, I'll talk no, the shit for you. Okay. I'll say it. No, I mean, it's very stressful. And in my experience, I've, I've actually learned some things. When you're a manager, like, things don't really change that much other than, like, all the responsibilities and people's actions you become responsible for, even if you weren't there. And you make the schedules and tell people when to go to work, which obviously they don't want to go to work at the time that you make them schedule them to go to work. They want to work on, you know, their schedules, which that's not how anybody works. Uh-huh. Um, mm -hmm. What else? I don't know. You're um, telling me. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to think of all the things. Oh, and then people expect so much more out of you when, like, that's not how things work. Like, just because you're manager doesn't mean that you should be expected to pull these super duper long hours um, that they want. They want you to, like, do, like, 10 hours worth of work in the same eight hour day. And they, but without overtime. Couldn't you do that? Like that? You can't do that? Oh, man, you know, clearly, clearly you're not manager material because, you know, obviously you can't do 10 hours of work in eight not. hour times. <laughs> just don't eat. Just don't I'm... take a break. Just don't use the bathroom. Just run constantly the everything you're doing. Always be in a hyper state and you'll be perfectly fine. It's just a job. I every day. I forget to attach my poop bag. That's the problem. Oh, my God. Why did you bring up that? Why did, why did you... <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry that, you know, she's changed over the years. She's become more deranged, you know, which is saying something coming from me. I've maintained the same I derangement. Have. And speaking of becoming more deranged, I get to claim, claim being senile soon because next month is my 80th birthday. Is it really? Damn. You've aged poorly. <laughs> I, I, dude, I still look like a teenager. What do you, t or an eighteen-year-old? That's the filter. About? That's the AI filter. Don't you lie to me. I know that underneath that you're the crispy Shh. baby. They're not supposed to know about the AI filter, dog. Mhm. Mm Absolutely. I think my microphone's picking you up in my headphones. You want me to keep talking? Yeah. No, you're fine. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Okay. No, um, I moved far enough away to it. I actually, won't be able to hear you. Oh, all that beautiful XP. Mm, just... I wonder if I could stream the game. Do you want me to stream the game to you so you could see it too? Sure, I don't mind. Uh, this is what... Uh, so if you haven't noticed, obviously, you know, we've moved to video. That's one of the changes that we've been... Uh, we've now decided to do because, you know, audio is nice, but, like, it's nice to also see the person that you're looking at. And since I've actually been pre premiering on camera for quite a bit now, 
and Cora is already have an established amount of being on camera. I was like, you know what? It's time to bring ourselves to this current timeline that we're going to be in, which is actually showing us on camera, not just our uh, voices, you know, that whispers or, you know, sweet nothings into your and tell you to crash your car. Uh, don't do that, please. You know, we need we need you. Stay here. Don't go. Uh, unless you want to, then I can't we stop you. We need you. We need you. We need your views. I need your. Stop. I need you before you crash your car to make sure to put the playlist that we have on repeat, so that way you can listen to it for eternity while you crash your car. Um, and like this video. Uh, and like every video before you crash, just make sure while you're going like go 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 go, and then you just, like take your hands off the wheel while you do it. You know that way you can be able to do it faster. Uh, this is not legal advice. Don't listen to me. Uh, and if anything happens to you while you're doing it, uh, we're, we're not responsible. responsible. We're not responsible. We're not liable. <laughs> you decided to do it on your own relation, and we're. Uh, this is all satire and for comedic purposes only. Uh, thank you. It's a bit, legal. guys. It's a, bit. It's, a, it's a bit. It's a bit. It's not legal. It's all an AI generated. An AI took over right there and spoke for me. Uh, clearly, I would never say anything. But here, let me show you my left ass cheek with my um, birthmark on it, so that way you can be able to see that. You know, clearly, I'm not AI. Uh, don't look at the video. Don't look down. Don't look at your screen. Don't look at your screen. Look at something else. Uh, let's keep focusing on the road. Anyway, what was I saying? What was I going on about? I forgot. So you were asking me about my year oh, uh, yeah. since since we've been gone. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Um, are you actually recording Deep Rock Galactic or no? Yes. Well, I'm I'm recording it like in a small. You know, like my BRB screen, how it mm -hmm. has like the small game, and then my my videos is equally as stream big. That's it, how I'm recording stream it. Stream it to Discord so I I can see it on. My, I did. I do not see it. Oh wait, hold on. I'm stupid. Hold on. Wait. I think I'm dumb. Never mind. Yeah, Watch playing. stream. I'm stupid. Oh, there it is. That is oh. the that is Deep Rock Galactic. So this is Deep Rock Survival. They came out with a survival game mode where you kind of just wander around randomly and get and level up. Mm -hmm. And then you get to like upgrade your guns, which are also, I mean, the first one you start off with is, you know, is normal. Um, but like everything triggers on its own. Like the only thing that I'm personally having to do is uh, run around with my joystick and then pick the level ups when I get them. Oh. But you collect resources and stuff. This game, and it's like ten bucks. Ah, it's like ten bucks. So, like, honestly, like, I think anybody could play this. Yeah. No, See, I leveled up nice. right there. Mm -hmm. So, like, all the little like blooby blobbles on the floor. That's all XP. But I'm running for my life, so I'm gonna circle back for that. Um, but see, I get so you get like different love uh upgrades for your guns and stuff. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you see how my first gun has the two up arrows? Because that's the gun it affects. Mm. If I were to get this one, it would also affect that same gun, which is awesome. And then if I look at this one, it affects uh, medium weapons, and the other three guns I have would be affected. But if you look at this screen, at the very bottom, I have a uh, mission that says upgrade lead storm powered minigun to level 18. Mm. My minigun right now is 13. level 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to get one of these two upgrades. Yeah, this would be more beneficial, but I'm on level five of five. So once I complete this level, I don't have any more chances to upgrade it. So I have to upgrade it, which and, piercing on yeah. this gun is pretty good. And here I thought that you were going like actually playing Deep Rock Galactic. Like the actual game. Oh well, I mean, I do play that sometimes too. Don't get me wrong, but this is this one I like because I I get to play it by myself, mm -hmm. where the other one is more fun with people, and I don't always have people to play with. I mean, I'm people. I could play, but nobody ever invites. I me. didn't. I didn't know you played. You have said this multiple times that you didn't know, and I tell you things from the game that I know. Hey, at least I'm consistent. That doesn't <laughs> help. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'm running, I'm running, I'm getting hurt. I'm this getting hurt. Getting hurt. My guns are recharging. Eh, 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 make a hole. Eh. No, don't mention holes around me. Anyway. Um, How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, can't go into too much detail, but a lot of things that uh, I've been uh, you know, getting into, mostly trying to annoy the shit out of my work. Um, mm -hmm. let's see, what have I done over, well, since the year's been up, uh, we, we've gone to Darian's party, right, you know, we had fun over there, 
Uh, no mm -hmm. word yet on whether or not she's gonna have one this year, and you know, and what time it is. Literally, her birthday month. Well, editor, put up the um the confetti and balloons and people cheering. You know, birthday. Include a um a very distorted happy birthday song because technically that one's copyrighted. Happy birthday. Uh, make it funny. I don't know. Find one that's like a kazoo or something. That'd be funny. Um, mainly, and then, you know, have like a, not a picture of Darian, but like just put Darian on the screen. You know, God, I'm putting in a lot of work for him. Um, but yeah, no, we've had that. Uh, then after that, you know, obviously it was Thanksgiving and Christmas where I worked and I had, you know, got paid like, you know, a good amount of money. Uh, since then, you know, I, I'm right now I'm trying to get time off from work. Originally, I was going to try to do 13 days off from work, but I wasn't able to because the doctor only could give you three days off um, at max. And I was like, damn, he said, but if you want to get like a full, you know, the amount of time where they give you like weeks off from work, you would need to go see a psychiatrist. And I'm like, oh, interesting, interesting. So that's what I did. I actually called today, you know, and i scheduled it for next monday at 3 30 p.m and i was like i'll be asleep but i guess i can wake up for that and so that's what i'm gonna do and that way they could give me like a whole week off and use up all my sick pay and i could take a uh, nine days off from work and enjoy that which is what you yeah. know, i'm excited about well i hope you get it yeah. i really do no i'm pretty sure i'll get it you know i was, I was like i need a mental health day i've been taking a day off or a break from work in like three years you know, so it's like I need I need some time. Uh, that way I can at least focus on the channel, so I would be able to provide content for you guys. You know, because these takes like a lot of things. Oops, sorry. Uh, a lot of work to do. Ne not, but not necessarily. You know, I've gotten it down to the point where I could do like a video in like an hour. But I'm trying to make the videos better, and I want to watch a four and a half hour video on how to do and how to work with DaVinci uh, Premiere. Uh, DaVinci Resolve because you know I stopped using Adobe Premiere because it's stupid and I hate it and I keep telling Cora to you know switch over off of Adobe and Photoshop to use what the hell is that um to uh huh uh that's big and I'm not prepared I know is that big a big okay, boy keep talking keep talking uh yeah sure uh so oh my God you're getting upgrades like crazy <laughs> uh yeah. uh. I don't know. Uh, run in circles. Kite them. I believe you could do it. Just I'm, go, I'm gonna. Just go to the right constantly. Like NASCAR. Except they're making a left turn. Um, Instead of a right turn. No, no, that, no, they make a left turn. Never mind. Um, so, with... Uh, what was I saying? I got distracted by how big the thing is. Oh, yeah, so I just basically want to take it off. And, or take like a full nine days off just so I could be able to make more content for you guys. Uh, and watch a video for DaVinci Resolve and try to convince Cora to leave DaVinci Resolve because it's stupid and it's dumb and it costs money and it's an, it's terrible and I hate it. And I like you don't need to spend it like you it so there's stuff that doesn't work uh, version to version and I keep trying to explain that to her. It's like don't use Adobe, use DaVinci Resolve. It's the same thing. It is so much I don't better. Use Adobe. Okay, good. What do you use? I don't use for editing? Yes. Um. Use like Final Cut Pro. Camtasia. Oh, okay. I never heard of that one. Uh, that's, but you know, it's I, one that you. So I bought it a couple years ago, uh -huh. and it was one that you didn't have to. You didn't have to pay for monthly, but of course, when everybody else started doing the subscription thing, they jumped on the bandwagon too. So now it is a monthly subscription. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh man, this sucks, dude. You're fine. I don't just think keep I'm going gonna survive around. this. Just keep no, going around. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I mean, You're I'm gonna fine. keep collecting. He <gasps> oh, he's right off me. Goddamn. I gotta go. I gotta go up as soon as. Okay, up. No, oh, yeah. Uh, the action is intense in this thing, as you know. She's playing, it is. and all she's doing is going around in circles, just getting stuff. And it's like, you know, that's exactly what you need to do. Just go around in a circle, and you'll be perfectly fine. Um, yeah, I'm trying to collect all the XP, but and oh, they're twins! Oh, they're twins! Oh, that's cool. Fun. Uh, I I, I always tell her, and I've been telling her, just go and get DaVinci Resolve. It is free. Yeah, no. It's free. 
I use Camtasia. Uh -huh. I use Camtasia for my to edit my videos. Um, just because that's that's all I know. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, uh, you know, it didn't take me that long to figure out how to use DaVinci Resolve, and even still, I'm learning like how to do like a color correction, green screening out. There's a lot of stuff that I'm doing with it. And then also GIMP. GIMP software, oh my god, it is so good. They constantly keep giving I updates for it. Oh, you actually use GIMP? Yes. Okay, Did you? so you left Photoshop. Well, well, no, 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 I wasn't using Photoshop. I was using a, I shouldn't have done that. I was using a Clip Studio Paint, mm -hmm. which I do still have it, but I also do love GIMP because of the simplicity of it. Yes, and you could also add in plugins. Same thing for DaVinci Resolve, you could also add plugins. And those are all free. And I'm like, yes, let's go. You know, such a superior thing. I hate Adobe. Adobe, I'll never take a sponsorship from you. You go uh, pound sand with the, for all I care. It's um, it, it's just disappointing that that's how the model has gone for us. You know, in terms of like content creators, you know, which is now like officially like what I think I am now that I've been doing it for full time not full time but at least you know like making a video like every single day for three months which is, was difficult you know as a person who has adhd i get burned out quite often uh with doing things mm -hmm. and that's always the hard part is trying to be consistent and i've been consistent i have an editor oh not an editor a manager who is my girlfriend who i pay and you know i give her an, more than enough to uh a, a week you know because she lives in the Philippines, which is awesome. You know, I don't have to spend that much money on her uh, to get like a full uh, 40 hours a week out of her. And she's been helping out the channel, doing mark doing research for it. She's been, what is it? Oh yeah, I, I have a girlfriend. I think the last time we talked about uh, that, my it was still early on. Was, Whoa, we celebrated our one year anniversary. Will, put up the confetti. Yeah. Put up Darian's thing for some reason, but like cross it out and put girlfriend or something. Oh. I don't know. It's like uh, the whole thing again. It's like we're just reusing assets. It's like I'm not going to make this over again. Our editor is not going to make this <laughs> over again. And that's going to be the confetti and the people cheering and the balloons and everything. And just put a big old X over Darian's name. Uh, and then just put like above it like girlfriend or something. Or right over it girlfriend. And it's like, mm, you know, like all that stupid stuff. That would be funny. That's obviously funny to me. But... Yeah, no, we, and it's uh, really nice being able to do that and have people help out. I'm also paying somebody to learn how to draw, and they've gone, they've gotten really better at making thumbnails. Uh, but they don't have a laptop or anything, so they physically draw these out. And I got them the art, uh, like a uh, sharpies that they have for mm -hmm. you know, Wait, like the actual artist. So the the ones that you've been doing recently, those ones, the ones that you made. Anyone that has actual ha assets from a game, that's what that's all me. Right. Mm hmm. Okay, now, that's all I was ask? asking. Just oh. those ones are you. Uh huh. But then eventually, you're hoping to come out with better looking drawn thumbnails. Yes, custom drawn. But then that's the thing is, we're also going to have to transition her to using a laptop because I wanted, I want to have like actual digital things. And maybe uh, in the future, depending on how things go, because we do want to have a Patreon. We do want to be able to provide stuff for you. I do want to have videos that I can cuss and swear and have all the deleted stuff. Like I'm currently uh, building up a, uh, a, um, a library of videos that consist of like outtakes. And I have one where every time I have to inhale, I just cut it right there and put it as a separate video. And I'm up to like, you know, like multiple times where I'm like, you ever saw that video of a guy who would like sell you things, right? You would sell you, I don't know what you would say, but he's like, you know, the person that you would watch at like three in the morning that's trying to sell you like swords or, 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 or whatnot. And they have a oh, super cut okay. of him, but it's every time he inhales and it's funny. Like I was cracking up. I was like, you know what? I inhale a lot every time when I'm like talking. Uh, because I don't mm -hmm. want to like inhale like it's super loudly into the microphone but I'm obviously talking a lot and that's the funny part is it, it was just him going <gasps> and I was like just like cracking up because of how absurd it was and how stupid it was and I was okay, like okay so I gotta funny. tell you I myself would hate that mm -hmm. only because I have asthma so every time someone would be like inhaling like that I would probably start mimicking and like not be able to breathe uh-huh 
Oh, well then you always shouldn't watch the video. But please, uh, Cora, we need the views. Watch the video. Uh, I'll but, put it. I'll put it on repeat and then leave the room. <laughs> yeah, but because to me it's like funny. It's like this is dumb. Or every time I go, uh, 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 uh you know, it's just like this, like the things that I've caught myself doing so often. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and add these and make this like a video, like a nice short or something. Uh, but currently, we're in the works of doing something that I cannot say because I've looked for it and there is not a market for this specific thing. And I'm actually doing it with uh, one of my friends uh, who used to be a partner of mine. You know, me and him are like uh, talking about it and it was his idea, but I spinned it off into something else that was a lot bigger than because what he was wanting to do was something that everybody does, you know, and I can't say exactly what it is. I'll tell you after when we're not recording exactly what it is, okay. but I then uh, like I asked him. I was like, "Well, why don't we do this?" And he was like, "Huh? Well, I don't know if there's a market for that." And I looked for it. And I was like, "Wow, there really is not a market for this specific thing that I'm looking for." And I'm like, "Oh, wow! That means that there is a niche out here that could be filled because people do this thing already. They have this specific thing that they do, and nobody's gone to this extent for it. There is like they do it for like some of the popular things for it." Obviously, and I, again, I can't say what it is, but there are so many opportunities that they could use that they haven't done. And I'm like, wow. And so we started talking about stuff. Uh, I know uh, we're having videos come out and that Darian is going to be drawing all of them and for thumbnails for specific, specific videos. And those are going to be for the Sly Cooper ones. Like, everybody knows. If you're watching this, you already know that I am I post Sly Cooper. It's every Monday. Uh, although the algorithm's saying to put, produce it every Sunday at, like, 11.45 or something. You know, or, or right before, like, the, the traction starts to pick up for it. For some reason. I don't know. But that's what it says within my area. So, uh, I'm having her during every movie part of it, which is when you play the entire world for it. I'm having you do custom thumbnails. If you see the, saw this last video um, that came out on the, what day was that scheduled? Uh, for the 14th, right? If you saw October 14th's video uh, for Sly Cooper, you would see that that was one of the ones I commissioned Darian to do. And then she still has to do one for Panicking, for Clockworks World, and then the last one, which is Sly Cooper the movie, the first one, is going to be all of them. I'm not going to spoil what that one is because that one actually is going to be really cool. Oh, my God. And really? I can't I'm wait so for sorry. that. And so, you know, I can't wait to be able to, like, actually, like, show that one off to you. But that won't come out until December. So you're going to have to wait a minute for that one. But that one, I cannot wait to see what she does for it. And I'm super excited for that. After that, we're and going to... And that gives to... us something to look forward to. Yes. And after that, we're going to re rebranding... Not the channel, but we're going to do redo the icon. You know, that's something that I want us to be able to get into doing. Because uh, it's been four years. Our icon has been on here for four years. Our channel really banner that, that we have. Yes, no, it's been that long. It's how long the YouTube channel has been on. And I just was like, oh, I'll just put glasses and put WKG on there. And have a, a golden background that's like, you know, uh, rising up with a different color. For I think it was like white turning into gold. I hate it. I don't like it. Okay, it's been four years. We need to update it. It's dumb, and it's it, it's it served its purpose. Four years is a long time, and that's a very simple logo. And I want something a little bit more better. You know, not something that's like rude. something a little bit more sophisticated. Yes, you know, the, the sign of of you know us like with with growth. It's we've grown since then. You know, four years is a long time since we've been growing. It's about time that we actually started including, like, or at least updating it. And our channel banner includes games that aren't popular anymore. Like, there's, like, a, and a lot of games that we were going to play that we never got around to. It's been four years, all right? We need to have something up, like, a, an updated version of that one. And that's the problem, is that we haven't gone around to it. I haven't gone around to it. So next year, after, or, or when Darian's done with this, is she's going to be redoing our channel icon, and she's going to be redoing our channel banner and i'm going to be updating some of the stuff for us regarding that our socials i don't know we're going to try to figure out how to do this right now my girlfriend she's currently learning how to do tiktok and what she needs to do exactly for that and it's up to me to be able to provide her with enough material in order to do it because apparently for tiktok you need to like do like five videos a day 
And I was like, okay, well, I know like, what I could do for that. It's like very simple and that we could be able to use. And YouTube, as of this recording, has not yet come out, uh, but it will come out next year because they're going to have longer form shorts, which are three minutes long instead of one minute long, which I can't wait that. to do. Because I have a video, if you haven't seen it, I play Satisfactory. I, you know, I, that's every Friday it comes out. Uh, where I just do, I used to do a modded version, but since 1.0 came out, I'm not able to do that because the mods haven't worked for it yet. Once mods start working for it again, I will absolutely go ham with the mods again, like I did before. But it's up in the air right now into when that's going to happen. We don't know. I don't know. Eventually, we'll get to it. And I'm excited for that part because then I could be able to go and crazy with all kinds of things and have more things in there that, you know, the game used to have until they officially, like, updated it and released the game. And, uh, you know, every, what is it? I play Marvel Rivals, right? You know, and that game's coming out in December. I cannot wait for that game to come out on the 6th because uh, then I'm going to be going crazy with that. Because, you know, I play Overwatch. You know, if you've seen it, I've been playing Overwatch. I haven't played it as, I've been recording as much content as I like for it for a little bit. But I've been doing at least like conversation pieces because there are things that go on in the Overwatch scene where they talk about stuff and other games and I'm, and I react to like what they say because I you know I've been playing the game for a long time. I have also been gaming for 27 years, right? So there are some things where I look at it and go like, "Huh, interesting, interesting." But I also, you know, take other information from everywhere else I go. And the recent one that I had talked about was about reacting to how gaming is dead. Well, it's also not just that. It's also that it's not that it's dead, it's just that it's more difficult and it's kind of becoming more about battle passes and shareholders and everything that's ultimately like ruining how gaming is because you know people were like we need more live action service games well there was what it was um the one that sony had released recently that basically was just a bomb uh and failed spectacularly to the point to where they actually had to give refunds because nobody was playing it there was like thousands of people who were playing it and that was a problem because that was two weeks after it had been released and they just they scrapped the whole thing and they got rid of all of it. And that was the sad part is, you know, people they had spent like years working on this. And I think it was like two hundred fifty million dollars they spent into it and they didn't get anything back, which was like, you know, it, it sucks. But, you know, that's what happens. And that's why, you know, live service games are kind of sucking because, you know, you can't have infinite growth constantly going up. But that's uh, something that we're probably going to talk about in the next episode. Cora, any closing things you want to say we'll wrap up this episode? I know you said we'll talk about it next episode, but I did want to ask, like, do you think that specific game, because I, I heard about it, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll which look it up. Which it one is? I'll look it up. Don't worry. Do you think that given enough time, that game would have gotten, you know, more no, traction? No, absolutely not. Not with how everything's going, not with how Marvel Rivals is, not with the establishment of overwatch dreadnought is coming out or dreadlock is coming out i forget which one it is editor put the picture of it on the screen please that it's you know that's from steam so that's obviously going to sell a lot and i've even looked at it and taken interest in it but however i can't play like the closed beta of it so that's already going to be three live service games that we're going to be playing at least for the channel that i'm personally interested in but i'm you know uh, i'm not 100 percent sure how you know far that's gonna go because you know like if i you know look at it and go like oh this is really cool but i i'm not great i'm not great at shooters you know but that's the main thing i've been playing my entire uh career as a gamer then you know platformers for like you know old games which is what i'm bringing back now on mondays right like after we're done with sly cooper i don't know which game i'm gonna do it's either gonna be sly Cooper or it's gonna be spyro or it's gonna be crash bandicoot but i do want to play like the old games but i want to play the remastered versions of them because the graphics are better before I eventually like play like the older versions of them with the original PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 graphics for that, which I'm excited to do so. But that's going to be in the future. And there's so many games that I could play. Oh, legally, of course, because of course I bought those games and not using an emulator. No, I wouldn't use an emulator yeah. for that. No, so not. I am a oh. responsible person who was able to purchase a copy of this game. Wink, wink. Uh, you know, but that's the thing is I... Uh, I can't wait to see, and there was no way that that was going to work because it was so boring. The characters themselves were so bland. There was, like, not a lot of creativity done for them in terms of that. Yeah, it was cool, 
but it was only cool for a little bit and that's the problem when you spend a quarter of a billion dollars on a game it's got to be good and it wasn't and that was the problem but that's you know the problem with live service games as it is now is shareholders want to have the infinite growth and infinite money and that's not something that's going to happen and they won't accept that so the way they accept that is by firing a lot of people and claiming that they grew because they no longer have to pay money to employees to be able to fill that gap and even sony was like we're gonna make a in like a couple of years we're gonna make 10 live service games well they keep backpedaling it and keep backpedaling it to where it's like i think they're only gonna do like one a year I, that's the last i heard of it and i was like yeah uh, but you're also talking about the people, the same people who are like, oh, Boulder's Gate isn't going to do great. And yet it did. And they said, well, it's not it's a live service freaking game. Freaking amazing. Yeah, because people were like, oh, live service games are the way, and single player story games are dead, and nobody cares about them. And here's Boulder's Gate saying, well, you could have sex with a bear. People were like, sign me up, you know? And it was an amazing game. I've never played it, don't have any interest in playing it, you know, that's that's but that's fine. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, but. That is that just proves right there that what they say isn't what's gonna actually turn out to happen. Uh, if you know the game is really good, of course it's going to succeed, and it did. And that was the thing that they need to accept is live service games are kind of dying. Astro uh, that came out, you know, we we've lived in the whole gritty realism kind of thing, and it's the cycle that goes through it. Uh, Inside gamers. Uh, no, or Inside Gaming, the one that's hosted by people who were a part of Funhouse. Uh, shout out to them. Those people are amazing. They're the ones that put it best. Is We go through these cycles or there was like the whole bubbly thing. Uh, and then The Last of Us 2, or The Last of Us came out. And then we started switching to gritty realism. And now we're going back into the trend of having the more bubbly games. Because, you know, we're, you know it's just the cycles. Like every 10 years we go through these changes. And that's a good point. It's like, yeah, I'm kind of getting boring of having like these super gritty, realistic games. It's like, I want to have something that's kind of fun because we have all these games that are super high graphically intensive or kind of depressing. And, you know, they have great story. Don't get me wrong. But when you oh, when you have something like, a little simpler. Yeah. And because when you have like a, a 10 versions of that same game, it's kind of hard to pick it because if they're new, if they're new IP and not established IP, it's more difficult for you to want to get into something like that. It's like, well, I could play this game or I can, you know, like enjoy myself playing something that I actually want to enjoy. But because it's not like this huge thing that's getting views that people aren't going to be able to watch that so it becomes more of a niche and it's like well if you're trying to make this be a career you're going to have to play all the games that come out that are super popular even if you don't like them and it's like okay well you know i i still play Overwatch because it's fun it's nice and popular i'm going to play marvel rivals when it came out i played the shit out of that thing during its open beta which i you know i found out that i am a punisher main and i'm a scarlet witch main and uh, uh, magneto i'm eh about it and i'm not really good with dr strange but i'm kind of okay with uh the hulk and i had never and that's weird because i'm a tank main i play tank in overwatch that's the thing that i master it but no matter what i go to a different game i only play dps or i play support and i love scarlet witch she is so broken and so overpowered that i could literally just fight tanks and kill them and that's the best part but we'll save that in the next episode core any closing statements you want to make not this time, other than we'll see how consistent we can be this time. Okay. And I'm glad to be back. True. Cora, sign us off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome and amazing content that involves myself or Will. Wow. Or maybe sometimes Darian. Wow. I, I love how you, how I'm the one that's been running this whole channel this entire time. We're like, yeah, sometimes <laughs> some enjoy him. Enjoy him. <laughs> the person who's been running it the last uh, three months and has been making content the entire time. Enjoy him. You know, when he appears. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Aren't you glad you have me? I, I could dox <laughs> I you. I know you guys Just know I could are. dox you anytime. You don't have my address. I have yours. What? Always Ever remember that I always I have do. the keys to the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll Bye, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.